This is Mario once again, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the seat for the Yerf Dog 3020. I have uh, completely taken the go-kart apart. If uh, anybody has been uh, watching my videos, following up on the step-by-step -step videos that I've been doing, you know, from from the time I acquired the go-kart, I did a little bit of a uh, runtime around my backyard, and then I decided to take it apart when my uh, uh, the uh, cord that uh, the pull start cord broke and so I decided you know I made it so, may as well take it apart and uh, rebuild it uh, from the ground up and that's what I've been doing so what you're looking here are some of the patterns that I have been creating from the existing um, covers for the Yerf dog you can see how beat up these things are this is the uh, let me start with the um, with the back seat uh, with the back cover rather this cover is nothing more than a sleeve it has this pocket here, an extra pocket that slips over the framework of the of the seat. This is the seat frame. So this slips right on top of that, and it is uh, a bit padded with uh, some foam. I took out the foam from uh, this section here, as well as from the seat. Those are usable, reusable parts. So I kept those uh, after um, I plan on washing them and kind of disinfecting them a little bit. Uh, better because this was totally totally I don't think this was ever um, uh, maintained you know for the life of this uh, Yerf dog and I believe these go is back uh, as far as 1996 when the company first uh, released their 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 first go kart which I believe it's this particular model the 3020 uh, it's one of the models that does not have a, a, a full manual and so I believe that this was one of the first ones and then later models came onto the scene and then the company started making manuals for, for them. I believe this may have had some kind of a, a manual that was maybe given with a go-kart or maybe not, you know, so I don't, I, I have not stumbled on a manual for this particular model, so I'm, I'm, I'm going by that, that logic. Um, this, like I was saying, is the back, it's a, it's, it's a sleeve that is, uh, uh, that is made from, um, Two types of uh, uh, materials here. This one right here is a vinyl uh, pattern that uh, mimics uh, sort of a leather-like uh, look, and so it's got this mesh, this, re this reinforced uh, mesh behind the the material. This right here, being just the back, is nothing more than just vinyl, just a plain vinyl. You can see how shiny the inside is, and the the outside. Um, is a, is a, a matted uh, uh, surface, uh, a vinyl, very thin, and so, I mean, I can see why they use this here, you know, there's no need to um, use this material if you're trying to save, especially if you're, if you're, especially if you're trying to save on costs of uh, manufacturing materials. This material is probably a lot, a lot more expensive than just this, this thin uh, sheet of vinyl here that they use for the back, and it's just fine because it's in the back and you don't see it, and it doesn't need to be, uh, you know, aesthetically uh, uh, attractive as the front and so this is the the seat this one here is an extra uh, uh, an extra uh, 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 sheet of material and this is the same as the, the this one right here and this is what actually hooks over the uh, the back of the frame as I just uh, showed a little while ago um, this one has a, a little extra I think this was part of this material here that just ripped uh, right here this was sewn here and this is um, this was a this section right here gets attached to the bottom of the the wooden platform or the base for the for the year dog dog. So that's a back seat, a back rest rather. And this is the cover. This is nothing more than a cover that it gets stapled also after the foam is uh, in place over the wooden base. Um, and this is just nothing more than a cover, a very simple cover with two. Two of these uh, side um, um, sections here that is sewn with this uh, uh, edging here. This is a cord. I believe they call this cord edging. This uh, has a, you know, it's it's, it's very um, very common in in, um, um, in in the furniture industry, uh, upholstery uh, furniture uh, when they. Um, Companies that make uh, furniture, you know, they use a lot of this uh, material here just to give it that detail, you know, the extra uh, level of, um, of uh, um, uh, aesthetical appeal. And so this one has that material, which I believe this is, uh, 
this could very well be um, this is sort of a, a PVC PVC is vinyl you know, it's vinyl cord with a with a with a flap so that you can sew this as you're sewing this on the reverse side when this the, all these things are done on the reverse side and then they're flipped over to the right side to um, you know it's almost like uh, this this in particularly is done in in a way that uh, like a pillowcase would be done so it's it's not very difficult once you get the pattern right and so what I've been doing is um, taking measurements of all these things and I've created these patterns that you see here um, here we see the uh, I took apart uh, this, uh, th th these are the side of um, what would be the armrests on this uh, seat. And these are, again, um, they have a, a foam insert, and it's just a, just a sleeve, just a cover, you know, for, the, for those foam inserts. So I took this one apart so that I can get a pattern out of one of these sheets. And you can see how beat up these are. Uh, once again, these are also attached with staples underneath the wooden base once this is done. That gets stapled underneath the wooden base after this is, is done. The first thing that, that needs to be done here is the uh, the, 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 um, the bottom, the, the plywood base, which is what uh, this pattern represents. And once that's done, you do the, the top seat cover, which is what this pattern represents. And I'll, I'll focus in a little more on, on the uh, dimensions here that, so that this can serve as a reference for anybody that wants to replicate these things. I've, that's the reason why I have all those dimensions here. All you have to do is watch this video and kind of try to replicate this in, in the way that I'm showing here. And you'll have, uh, you know, you'll have the, uh, the, the, the patterns, all the patterns for the Yerf Dog 3020 or uh, something, uh, you know, a similar go-kart. If you if you like this uh, particular seed uh, arrangement, so this is the uh, this is the plywood uh, base. These are the dimensions: 18 by by 14 and three quarter inch plywood. Uh, I would strongly recommend that if you do this, you do not use that wafer board because wafer, even though that's highly used in, in, in go karts, uh, from from what I've been able to um, um, observe uh, in, in videos and photographs. Because uh, that uh, material tends to, the wafer uh, board is just a bunch of uh, laminated pieces of uh, uh, wood that, uh, you know, they, they, uh, it's a good way to recycle that material into something useful and that's how they make those wafer boards. But it's, it's very poor in the sense of uh, resilience against uh, weather, you know, especially rain and water because once the water hits it, it sponges up and, and then starts flaking off and expands, you know, nasty, you know, so it's, uh, it's not a very good material in that respect. So I would recommend, you know, just use some good three-quarter inch plywood, something that's nice, nice and uh, nice and solid, and and um, and and, um, and provides a nice, nice finish to it. Uh, especially if you're going to do, you know, you're, you're going to rebuild the seat, and you want something, something, you know, that, that, that looks nice, and it's worth, worth the, the uh, worth the investment and the uh, the effort. So three-quarter inch plywood, 18 by 14, makes the this uh, wooden uh, base. I've um, uh, done this uh, this uh, in perforation uh, lines here, so that uh, if you want to curve this, you can curve this. Otherwise, just just sand uh, the corners a little bit, and you can have a more square uh, seat. You know, it doesn't matter really. It all depends on the taste of the the user. So um, there's a wooden um, a base. On top of this, you have the foam. You know, I think uh, it's uh, maybe uh, two, two and a half inch, maybe maybe even three inch foam would, would work really nice here. Uh, and this is the cover. This is what would be this part right here that you see here with these uh, with these side um, uh, uh, with these side uh, uh, patterns on the side and with this detail here. So the way this goes is like that. You know, you have that part right there. And so this pattern represents this right here with the fold lines and this extra part here that makes up the sides here. So when this is folded like this and sewn and sewn with the side on this one on the side and then the other one on the opposite side in mirror image, you know, you end up with this, um, this sort of uh, uh, um, pan like uh, cover. Now if you look at this, it's got, you know, it looks like a pan, you know, once the, and so these things are, are folded in a square pan. And so that's what this uh, represents here. And the dimensions of this um, are 18 by 18 by 18, just to keep it simple. 
And these are fold lines right here, which would be this section right here, you know, for the front and for the back, it needs to be folded like that to create the uh, that, that pan-like uh, shape or, or rectangular shape. Uh, when you attach these right here, and you sew this all the way like this, like that, and like that. And so that's what the reason for these fold lines are. Uh, those are three inches and three inches. Real, real simple, real, real easy. This pattern right here is actually 14 inches. And it's a little bit wider at the base than at the top because the foam, um, um, I guess the way they made these is uh, so that the uh, so that this matches, you know, this this wider section matches the the base, the wooden base. That's why this is 14 inches. So this will sit right right there, and then the pattern on top, which is 13 inches uh, in in length here. You have a 13 inch, 14 inches at the, at the base of this. Uh, 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 pattern here and three inches on the sides would make up for the uh, would make up that cover really nice it would cover this 14 inch uh, uh, um, 14 inch uh, uh, long width um, wooden pattern and so that's what this represents right here this pattern once again if you missed one, some of these dimensions here they you go again 18 by 18 with a three inch pole line on each side which makes this Dimension here. I don't have that dimension. It's just subtract 18 minus 3 and minus 3. It's 18 minus 6 total. You have um, a distance of 12 inches from here, from full line to full line. This is a little bit longer because when you sew this, it's going to take up some of this material here, and you're going to end up with a, a lot shorter uh, um, distance than this this 13 inch. So just keep that in mind. The um, last uh, is the. Uh, this pattern right here, which is the, like I said, like I said, uh, these flaps here, or these are armrests. They're they're sort of like a, like an egg egg shape. Um, I don't remember if the uh, this this um, this section goes to the front or goes to the to the back, maybe like that. But I have to I have to yeah no this this goes like this because of the the staple marks right here. So this gets stapled like underneath like that. So this taper is towards the front of the seat and that, that would make sense um, because it's more angle like 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 a chair or like a seat should be so that's what the, the this pattern is for and you need you know two of these patterns and I just marked the the, the longest uh, um, uh, length here by the, the the width of this and then this is kind of you know you can almost make up this this curvature you know by using these dimensions here you have uh, 18 inches uh, 15 inches is the the width and 18 inches is the height of this pattern right here. Once you have that, you know you can just use this um, use this uh, video and kind of size and kind of trace maybe uh, um, uh, along these uh, these lines here to obtain this pattern. You you could also make this uh, rectangular if you wanted to, but this kind of I wanted to maintain the same uh, uh, appeal and, and look of the original Yerf dog as, as it came from, and that's. You know that's the reason for all these patterns being as close as possible to the to the dimensions of the original one. The Yerf Dog uh, logo. This is something that can be done on a uh, on a uh, um, on a vinyl cutter. Uh, it just you know you you're going to have to lift this uh, uh, um, the uh, art either from a photograph and then uh, uh, take that photograph and bring it into some kind of a um, some kind of a CAD program that can uh, manipulate that uh, image, uh, go from a JPEG file into uh, an actual um, an actual file that you can use this on a vinyl cutter. So there are so many programs out there. I'm not going to go into uh, into too much detail with that. You know, you're just going to have to look it up if that if you want to do this. Otherwise, just leave the seat as you know as, as uh, plain as it is. I really want to bring this into the into my 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 seat. That's something that I'm. I will be doing that uh, later on once I get this and, and the other details like the number on the, on the Yerf dog and the paws, um, you know, that those are going to be like, like the last details on the car once I get it back uh, assembled. Um, the fabric that I'm using here is, uh, you know, I bought this fabric here, it was on sale. I just went to Joanne Fabrics and I bought this fabric, I saw this nice pattern here. It's not black, but it's not... Uh, it, it's it's not black, but it's not too too light of a brown. So this is like a dark brown. It's got a, some nice, it's got a nice uh, 
nice sheen to it as you can see here and hopefully this video is catching you know it's, it's basically vinyl fake le leather and it's got the same um, same fabric at, uh, on the back as, uh, as this this material right here except that this is uh, this you know with the, with the sun it has baked this to uh, to a very stiff uh, level that you can you can almost crack this like a, like like uh, like cardboard you know it's, it's, um, so this is the same fabric so I'm going to be using this fabric uh, I got a yard of this uh, on sale for uh, I think I paid like five dollars you know it was a, it was a rent and um, Joanne often has these uh, sales in uh, uh, fabrics that are remnants that they sell for for you know very inexpensive and so I stumbled on this one and I, I just could not pass the, the offer on this one because it was so so inexpensive and I have an, enough material here to do everything here so this um, a yard is basically three three feet but the way fabric is uh, is sold and the, the way fabric is uh, um, is made and, and sold is uh, in uh, 54 I believe it's 54 inch widths so this comes rolled up like 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 that on, on a form like this but if you were to open this up fully because this is two ply right here that is the way they sell material fabrics if you were to open that you would end up with 54 inches I believe 54 inches is the uh, is the number let me let me double check that again so this is 27 27 27 yeah it's about 54 56 something like that in uh, in, uh, in 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 width and the length of course for a yard a yard is three feet so this is three feet 36 inches so I got a, just a little more here and you know I, I, I paid for a, for a yard which is not not really bad if uh, you know five dollars for for the, a yard and that's all you're going to need you know if you're going to do something like this in terms of uh, fabric material I have this other fabric too which is uh, let me just show this fabric here it's a little bit different this has like a felt like I've, I use this on my other uh, go-kart my electric go-kart seat on, on one of them and uh, this has a, a felt like fabric it's a little heavier in, in terms of weight than this material here this is a little bit lighter but it's still you know it's still good material for creating uh, uh, things of this nature you know go-kart seats so this is the black and this is the brown you can see how not very far the brown is from from the black so, so that's the reason I decided to go with this black and brown and I think it's gonna look nice um, as you can see with the, with the yellow with this uh, almost deep yellow school bus yellow and and black which is what my go-kart is uh, um, is uh, um, painted in so these are this is where I'm at with this and uh, I want to capture this video and talk about these things before I go and uh, sew all these uh, pieces my next video will be of all these parts already sewn and on the on the seat uh, ready to uh, basically ready to have the seat uh, the complete seat mounted to the go-kart uh, but I want to do once again uh, this video you know to create a reference for anybody that wants to have the dimensions of this particular go-kart I mean I've been putting a, a lot of information in the in the in the thread on on do it yourself a uh, go kart uh, forum uh, with respect to these uh, to this uh, uh, rebuild of this 30 20 year dog I don't know if somebody else has done that before I have not been looking for it um, when I got an, in, in, into that thread I, I decided to um, I, I just couldn't find a manual I started that way and I started uh, to look for information on specs of the go kart so that I can start uh, sizing things and getting familiar with a lot of the uh, components and um, uh, just so that I can have a a, 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 a reference uh, to work from you know when I uh, dismantle the card and rebuild it um, and so I've been coming um, coming across you know uh, 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 different types of information regarding this uh, 3020 regarding the company and so I've been putting all that in that thread so that everything is consolidated in one thread that's the purpose of that um, it's not so much because I'm, I'm doing these videos and you're wasting anybody's uh, time you know if you don't if you don't want to see them you don't have to um, but if you uh, are looking at this information I think you'll find a, a lot of good information that I've been putting there and it's for that reason is that I, I like people having that information uh, so they can uh, reference from you know it's something that I would have liked to to come across uh, but since it, it wasn't available you know I it, you know I, I like to do that for other people so you know if you find this video uh, interesting uh, maybe not so much interesting but uh, useful you know give me a thumbs up you know I would appreciate that 
as I say in all my videos, I don't get many views. Uh, this is a very niche uh, area. Uh, and um, But if you do stumble on these things, and just give me a thumbs up. You know, um, it, it just... Um, I, I would really appreciate it. It's not it's, it's not going to empower me to do more videos. I'm not going to say that, you know, because it really doesn't. I, I do these videos regardless, uh, whether people like it or not, or they don't say anything. And sometimes, uh, you know, it sounds like I'm talking to myself. Uh, so, so, little, so be it, you know. Uh, I do this uh, for posterity, and somebody might stumble on this in the future and find it um, um, interesting and useful. Mario, once again, stay tuned for more.